Okay, number 3. The quadratic equation has roots of this one and this one. Find the value of H and K. So, actually, we have two ways. Okay, usually when you calculate root, right? So, X minus A, X minus B is equal to 0. Then, root is equal, root X is equal to A and X is equal to B. So, you see here, since this one is negative 2 and 6, so we see here, x so we see here if x is equal to negative 2 then we see here we have negative here so negative negative 2 and then here would be 6 so this one would be x minus 6 is equal to 0 we see here so x plus 2 x minus 6 is equal to 0 when you expand x times x square x times x you get x square x times negative 6 you get negative 6x 2 times x, we get 2x. 2 times negative 6, we get negative 12 is equal to 0. So here we get x square. So negative 6x plus 2x, we get negative 4x. And negative 12 is equal to 0. So you see here, this one, x square plus hx plus k is equal to 0. So we can see that h is equal to negative 4 and k is equal to negative 12. So here h is equal to negative 4 and k is equal to negative 12. So another way is that we know that x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0. So sum of root, we know sum is equal, so we know the root is equal to negative 2 and 6. So sum of root is equal to, so we add this to negative 2 plus 6, which is equal to 4. And here we see here product of root means we multiply the root. So negative 2 times 6, we get negative 12. So we can put it inside the equation. So here x square, so here minus, so sum of root is equal to 4. And product of root is equal to negative 12 is equal to 0. So again, you can see that um, H, so here X square plus HX plus K is equal to 0. So H is equal to negative 4 and K is equal to negative 12. So B, range of values of C such that the equation has no real root. So we know that B square minus 4 as C is smaller than 0 if no root. So we see here we have X square plus HX plus K is equal to C. So X square H is equal to minus 4X and K is minus 12 is equal to C. So we see no root, we have to use this equation. So we must make this one equal to 0 first. So x square minus 4x minus 12 minus c is equal to 0. So we know that here ax square plus bx plus c. So the one with x square is a. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4. You see here. And then C is equal to, so you see here C is the one without X. So we have this 2 which is negative 12 minus C. So here B square minus 4 as C is smaller than 0, right? So B is negative 4 square minus 4. A is equal to 1 and C is negative 12 minus C is smaller than 0. So negative 4 square is 16. So negative 4 times negative 12, you get 48. So here negative 4 times negative C, you get 4. C is smaller than 0. So here 64 plus 4, C is smaller than 0. So we move it to the right. So 4, C is smaller than negative 64. So C is smaller than negative 64 divided by 4. So here we get negative 16. So C is smaller than negative 16.